Hello Trade Pros. In this series, you're going to learn how to use TradingView. What you'll learn is how to open, save, and create charts, how to apply indicators to those charts, how to use the drawing tools to mark them up and create opportunities for trades, how to use a stock screener and the social feature, and how to overall use TradingView as a tool to help you be more profitable and spot more trading opportunities. The first step is to enter tradingview.com to go in here and visit the website. Once you're on tradingview.com, this is the URL or the link that will bring you to this site. The best features about this is that it's mobile. You can access this from your phone, your tablet, and your computer. All the data is synced, so you can only have to create the charts once. You can then create templates, and you can really build out your analysis on the go, sign in from other computers, and have the exact same info as you do at your home computer. This is why I really love TradingView. I think it's a top-notch analysis platform for your technical needs. Uh, to do technical analysis on, it's really simple. It's very visual. It's really effective to use for your own trading, and I absolutely love it, and I personally use it as well. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to focus just on introducing you how to pull up an interactive chart and explain all the tools that are available for you and how you could annotate this chart and how you could browse around through the layout. So let's start there. The first step is you want to start with a ticker symbol. If this is your first time ever visiting TradingView, you want to go in here and type in a ticker like AAPL, which is the company Apple. If you do not know what the ticker is, you could just type the company name and it shows up on their stock. You can see Apple Link. If you click it, what will happen here is a chart will show up with Apple, some basic information about the company. What you want to do right away is click the interactive chart button because it will open charts that allow you to manipulate them uh, and that are cleaner and more accessible and more technical for you. Now that we have the chart layout here, what we want to do is start drawing uh, our supports, resistances, etc. But before we get there, before you can start to annotate a chart, before you start to put your own analysis on it, you need to understand what tools are available to you and how they work. So let me take you through the layout of TradingView and how this information is useful and how you can use these tools um, to create your own analysis. So what, the first thing you want to do on the top is recognize that there's a box here for the symbol. You could change the symbol to be anything you want. You could type FB for Facebook or you could just start typing the company's name Facebook and it will show up and you could click it. You could see the flag here, it's on the American Exchange. So if we click FB, the company Facebook comes up. You do not have to click on that box as long as you're anywhere on the chart and you start typing MSFT, for example, you will start to see uh, the symbols come up and you could change the stock name or stock company to correspond with the chart that you want to look at. So for example, if I want to go Google, I just start typing G-O-O-G-L and it shows up right here. Another neat feature of this platform is that you could change the time period or periodicity at the very top by selecting it. So clicking the 15, that means 15 minutes. Each candle that you see will represent one 15 minute increment in time frame. These vertical red lines is something that I've considered or configured rather to show me one session. So this is each day. It's a daily vertical separator, and I'll show you that later on. If you click on four hour, now each candle represents a four hour increment. And if you click on one day, each candle is daily. You have an option to do daily, weekly, monthly, and any um, custom time period as well. One cool thing here is the way you're able to type letters to change the company name, you could always type numbers to change the time frame. If you go one five, that creates a 15 minute chart. If you just type five, that's five minutes. If you want to do a one hour chart, you type 60. If you want to do a two hour chart, 120. And you could type any periodicity, including odd numbers that don't match up. So this is a very neat way to change the time frame you're looking at. Me personally, I like to look at a weekly chart and start my analysis from there identify my levels of where this company is, what the horizontal supports are, the way we treat, you, the way we teach you in our trading foundations course uh, comprehensively how to do the analysis. You start with the weekly, you cycle down to the daily and work your way into a smaller time frame for the entry. So now that you know how to pull up a stock company and change the time periodicity on it, I want to explain to you the different chart types that you're able to see as well. On the right side here of the time periodicity, you can see that if you click this arrow, you have a number of charts available to you. The most popular is candles, and the second most popular is bars. 
These are different ways to represent the same information and it's laid out in a different format. Choose the one that's more convenient for you or that works. My favorite chart types are bar chart to identify supports and resistances because they really help you sh uh, see, they really show you, they help you see where the battle has been on that level, where there's some potential traders that could be stuck and where the majority of the battle took place in and around. That's what I love the bar chart for. If you look at the candle, candle is really good at showing you the open high, low and close and you can go through here and cycle through different charts. Line charts are really good for looking at correlations and comparing to multiple assets and then you can see here, uh, you see Renko, which is a really nice chart as well, and more in-depth options as well. For the time being, you might want to start your analysis and stick to candles and work from there. All right, the next option that you have here is the ability to click this little gear wheel, and it'll allow you to change a lot of the standard options in TradingView. What you want to do is, uh, or what you can do here is rather change the color of the candles if the price is moving up, and if the price is also moving down. Another common one is green and red. You also have the ability to do uh, what traders like to call white candles and black candles for down days. So that's another way to do it. And then you can also actually go ahead and change your background colors to make it dark if you wanted to or to make it light gray. Now obviously this looks pretty terrible. This one isn't actually bad, but depending on what you like, you can really configure this platform through going through style, scales, time sessions like you can see I've added a session break um, trading if you see your own positions and orders and add events and alerts so I encourage you to go through each one of these options and configure your charts to something that you like there's all there's also um, pre-populated templates you could use and uh, configure it to your liking to fit your eyes uh, your your style and really make this personalized and custom tailor it to be exactly what you need one of the neat features of TradingView is the ability to actually save the links and, and creates custom and unique charts. So if you were actually to copy this link and go in and paste it into another browser, you'll see that it will pull up the exact same layout that you had saved. And that allows you to save all of your work. If you have any trend lines drawn, if you've done any analysis, or any changes, it allows you to save that chart by just copying your link. Another place these templates will be available are if you just click this arrow down here and you can create chart layouts. So let me show you how to do that now. Presumably, let's say we create a chart template and we really love this one. And we've added all of our colors, we've changed all the background effects, and we want to save this chart type. What we could do down here is click, or what we could do up here rather, is click this little down arrow, click Save As, this chart layout and we could say trade pro chart ABC for example you could choose a more representative name than that and it saves it opens it up as a new link and it now ensures that you no longer uh, need to save this link or this chart what you could now do is close everything and once you go back to this generic website on tradingview.com or go to the home page of it you can actually click the arrow here and have a look at your templates one way you could do is go to chart right here the drop down shows up you could go all chart layouts you could see trade pro trade pro chart ABC you click that and it brings you right there so what we've done in this video so far is we've introduced you to how to use tradingview the benefit of tradingview how to copy links for your charts how to change the symbol and how to change the time period and save a layout template to be able to recall it later on and use it in the future. In the next video, what I'm going to take you through is how to use all of these tools on the left side and how to start annotating and drawing on your charts in TradingView to put some of your own analysis and start getting some actionable trade ideas based on the tools that are available here. So let's move on to our next video. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video. Let us know you let us know how we could help you in your journey to becoming a successful trader. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're just as excited to use TradingView as we were excited making this tutorial. So